Would you welcome the most inventive gentleman, George Carlin. I was from a neighborhood near Columbia University in Harlem, uh, an Irish neighborhood, uh, kind of an Irish enclave. The older guys, your, uh, your Archie Bunker World War II, I was in your depression and your real war, those guys, uh, they would call it an Irish neighborhood. They'd look around and say, it sure used to be Irish here. You know, but it was a uh, um, disappearing thing because Columbia was moving and uh, the city was changing patterns. We call our neighborhood White Harlem because it sounded bad, you know. Where are you from? White Harlem, man. <laughs> the real name was Morningside Heights. <laughs> and that sounded to me, that sounded so faggy. If you'll, that word in context. When I was a kid, that word meant sissy. It had nothing to do with sex. Faggy. Fag, a fag was a kid who wouldn't fight. A fag was a kid who wouldn't steal or jump on the truck and hitch a ride. Yeah, he's a fag. He can't stay out till 10 o'clock. Faggy. You know? And didn't, uh, for you know, my neighborhood, that was it. Fagman says he queer was a queer. You know what a queer was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fag was a guy who wouldn't go downtown and beat up queers, right? That was the kind of neighborhood. You, know? you see, I gotta tell you, man, I gotta explain, like, where I'm from and what it's about, like, in my neighborhood and what that street macho Irish gang fight thing was about, man. Chop fights. A lot of people call them chop fights. We call them slip fights, hanging each other up, man. Insults. You put guys down. Whenever you get uh, teenagers together, boys, you know, they're always putting each other down. And uh, we would play the dozens. We would talk about each other's mothers. You know, we didn't fool around about, hey, you got a new pimple, man. Hey, them shoes stink, man. <laughs> Boom, we got right to it. Hey, where'd you go last night? I was out with your mother, man. <laughs> We were into gang busting, gang fights, gangs, man, where cats would have jackets, man, with the name of a gang on it. Uh, it usually happened over a girl at a dance. You're one of your Debs. The girls in the gangs were called Debs. What are you? I'm a tomahawk Deb! <laughs> hey, man, we're the tomahawks, you know? And there'd be a fight and uh, some girl, man, hey, man, what do you make it out? Oh, man, you killed the guy. <laughs> Try to dance with one of our Debs, man, you know? And they would talk about how they were going to fight. We're going to get the Rams, we're going to get the Ritz, we're going to get the West Siders, we're going to get the Lamplighters, we're going to get the Maharajas, we're going to get the El Diablos, man. We're going to get the Corner Street Boys, we're going to get the President Street Boys, man. We're going to get the Barracudas. Hey, those are the guys we're getting, man. Everybody would show with the same guys. So you party, man. And then one summer, grass, pot, marijuana, swept the neighborhood, and gang fighting went away. <laughs> You would hear guys say, uh, okay, man, I'll catch you after the fight, man. Right, man. <laughs> say, there were some studs in my neighborhood, man. Say, I could tell you. Say, what's happening? Nothing to it, baby. I'll be right back. You know, hey, catch you later. <laughs> say one thing. You catch, if you take five white guys and five, I don't mean five any white guys. Let's take some Anglos, some really English, Irish kind of white guys, and five black guys, and let them hang around together for a month. And you know what happens? At the end of the month, those five white guys are standing and talking and walking like the black guys. You ain't gonna see the black guys going, well, hi there, hey, how are you? <laughs> Instead, you see red-headed guys with freckles who say, right on, okay, catch you later, man. <laughs> Puerto Rican was nice because it was music, man. I didn't understand it. I used to listen to Yankee games in Puerto Rican. Who cared about the Yankees, right? We were a National League neighborhood. We used to beat up Yankee fans and take their equipment, man, because <laughs> Yankee fans were always from Long Island and Connecticut, man. And they always had enough money for the hats and the gloves. Every Yankee fan had a bat and a glove and a ball, man. We used to beat the crap out of them and take their equipment, man. <laughs> and I used to listen to Yankee games in Puerto Rican because it was music, man. You could understand the games if you knew the ball players' names, and if you could count to three, you could follow baseball, man. It's not too tough. You could follow the count, dosi dos, okay, two and two. Man. <laughs> and then you could follow the announcer's emotion. Hey, <laughs> 